God, I know it's been a rough few thousand years, but you've still got a lot of fans down there. Do you know how long it's been since someone sacrificed a ram to me? I thought that grossed you out. You know, it did, but at the same time, there was something nice about it. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, you can crazy. still send a letter like anywhere for very small amounts of money and it will get there. The postcard That's, thing is amazing. Yeah. How does it, thing, how does it not get lost? <laughs> no, that I'm is a 100% miracle. Yeah. Mm. I, is it that your mother is very bad with photography <laughs> so that, that she, perhaps her being good at this makes it a miracle? I don't want to say, I, don't, I, I think you probably look great anyway, so it's not a miracle. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a big time. I yep. think the show touches on that a lot. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Not a miracle. Not a miracle. <laughs> yeah. Not a miracle. Funny, though. Karmically just yes, justified. Yes, justified, yeah. yeah. I've heard a couple of tracks. I really liked it. I have not heard I any tracks. I have heard the whole thing, yeah. But I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, sure yeah. It's, I'm sure it's very good. I don't, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know. Probably, yeah. Probably. Great. Miracle. Yes. Uh, sure. <laughs> Uh, and you have to then wait another six months to see if you still <laughs> like it. At that point, then yes, Miracle. Uh, and I would also add Rupert Grint's name yes. to that. And um, but yes, uh, well, you know, thank you. That's very. That's a kind person. The thing that person has said. Um, you know, I, I think lots of people could have succeeded where we did. Um, but but I, I I will I will thank them and say not a miracle, but thank you. I've been here 10,000 years. He's never addressed the whole company before. Hi. Oh, sorry guys. Sorry. Is that God? So, I've decided to blow up first. We have a show where in the uh, very first act of the first episode, God decides to blow up Earth, and he uh, has two weeks as the, the number of, you know, is, is 14 days, mm -hmm. basically, and... Uh, at that point, the planet's going to be uh, struck by an asteroid, and we have a ticking mm -hmm. time clock, uh, and we speed down to the final minutes, and we wouldn't be able to be as narratively propulsive if we were stretching it out to 13 or 22 episodes, let alone, you know, 66 episodes. Yeah. If the stakes start off as we have to save the world, it's very hard to have anywhere to go from there that is somehow more impactful I guess yeah literally everyone is going to die it's hard to beat that the goal was always to try to design a vision of the afterlife that was consistent with our experiences mm -hmm. as humans on planet earth and when you walk around planet earth it sometimes feels like events happen randomly chaotically inefficiently unfairly horribly kind of consistently <laughs> and so what kind of uh, what kind of afterlife is consistent with that and the answer one answer presented itself to me as a writer, which is, well, maybe it's a hopelessly dated, uh, flawed, inefficient corporation that's run by uh, an out-to-lunch CEO. Mm -hmm. uh, so in designing the aesthetic of the show, we wanted to lean into that as hard as possible, and we fell in love with this location called OFS, which is a semi-abandoned fiber optics facility in Georgia that literally had like signs that was like, do not enter yeah. acid. Yeah, yeah, and it was just literally like falling apart and dripping and corroded steel everywhere, mm -hmm. and uh, it just looked like a, a place where accidents happened all the time, and uh, on a thematic level, it really it really inspired us. We loved shooting there, although it was very cold, and I'm sure we all have major asbestos poisoning. <laughs> I mean, the place we filmed Potter was definitely full of asbestos, so I do, yeah, yeah it's, it's all the same. But most people use it as a place to house their sets, and we actually just used the factory as it was. Yeah. And also, wasn't part <laughs> of the deal that we got to keep any equipment? Yeah, one yeah. of the deals we made with the, the facility is that we were allowed to use their garbage as props. <laughs> so a lot of the a lot of the props you see on the show, a lot of the the, the rainbow maker, yeah, the, the rainbow Demon maker, maker. Yeah. the antiquated, uh, uh, dated, obsolete, heaven ink technology. A lot of it is just stolen or repurposed from trash heaps. The wear and tear was really important to the aesthetic, and that's kind of the story of Earth on our show. Is mm -hmm. that God, our God, played by Steve Buscemi, uh, started the Earth with big hopes and uh, a good heart. And uh, over time, it just got out of hand. Like it's always been yeah. a place where terrible things are happening constantly. Like I do think we've got a there's a there's always like a modern 
uh, idea of like our time is the time when things seem to be crumbling the most or things but actually that's just not really true you know i would certainly rather live now than at any time in history but i think there is a point that we have all reached of kind of the information about all the terrible things that are happening now is so overwhelming that that first shot of god in the series where he's just like watching all the tv channels and then just like turns it over and can't be bothered is like yeah i feel like that's a very relatable place to to get to yeah we start from a place of abject nihilism it's god watching literally 100 tv screens each of them are playing natural disasters or worse and he is totally hopeless and we feel that he should be and the the goal was to try to do a series that started from a place of hopelessness and defeatism that kind of met the viewer Mm -hmm. in that uh everything is screwed place Mm -hmm. and then uh to see if we could engineer it so that the characters by the end of the show uh, had fallen back in love with the planet and, and learned to hope a little bit, even though it makes no sense. Two billion prayers received. We have to answer all those prayers. I generally try and shoot for three, four a day. Although, now that I've got you, a teammate, there's no telling what we can do. I'm thinking five, six, maybe as many as six. 